Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Palitska International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do a real snake skin. Absolutely amazing design and I have really enjoyed recreating this look. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, that's how it is looking and I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! I'm actually really excited about this tutorial because we are going to use the real snake skin. It looks amazing and uh, I'm actually really excited to show you uh, this design. And uh, we will start off with sculpting. I got this piece of the snake skin from a friend, Julie. Thank you so much. It's been actually quite a few years um, since I got it. <laughs> and now is the time to finally use it. So I'm actually really, really excited to create this beautiful set with the real snake skin. Obviously the snake wasn't hurt at the process. Uh, they naturally shed their skin and uh, I just got a piece of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to apply the new form. I have cut it on the sides just so it's fit in my new better, nice and straight. And then once I'm happy with it, I can squeeze the form. Okay, then close it so we can get a really amazing pinched nail. And when you cut the form, you don't even need a special tools to, to be able to get a really pinched look. Okay, the form is nice and straight. And then once I'm happy with the application, we can start sculpting this nail. Uh, I'm going to use uh, fiber gel in sheer, actually in clear, why not? So in clear, quickly just put some nail prep and universal air bond. I had also a question why why the nail gel comes off from the tip on the practice finger. I always file it with the nail file just to create kind of pretty decent scratches and I put the universal air bond as well just so it stays on. Okay, now once the bond are dry, I'm going to pick up a small scoop of my fiber gel and clear and build up the skeleton of this nail. So nice and thin layer, really close to the cuticle. My brush doesn't behave because it must be exposed a bit to the sun. Something what you shouldn't do. Well, we have left the stuff on the table. So I'm just breaking the seal a little bit. Get the brush in shape. I'm using the blue scrap. And there we are. And the brush is much softer now again. Awesome. So pick up another scoop. And just extend the free edge. And we are going to do a really nice and long nail just so we've got uh, quite a lot of room for the design. Like I think it will be nicer to show you design on the longer nail. Okay, make sure it is really not too thick at the free edge. Because we need to encapsulate those uh, snake skin. Okay, so not too thin. I'm just removing the excess from the free edge and then going to give it a cure. <clears throat> I think the snake skin is going to look really nice on top of the white. You can see it like uh, here I've got white desk, so it looks absolutely fantastic. It will actually also look really nice on top of the black. Hmm. Now I'm confused. Do I want black or do I want white? Actually, maybe black, black. Yeah, we're going for a black. Yes, definitely black. 100%. I mean, you can see the design much better on the... Oh, better I'm contrast. better contrast. Actually, I'm not sure now. Because on the black, we will lose all the colors from the different um, patterns. No, let's do it white. <laughs> I prefer it on the black, but we are going to do it on the white. Uh, just so the colors are showing and then maybe use something black for this design. So 
Just to speed up all the process, I'm going to use the paint on French gel. So paint on French gel inside Arneal. So nice and thin layer. Like everywhere. I am really not uh, bothered about the perfect coverage, to be honest, because we are going to apply the snake skin anyway here. But it's just so we've got some background. The structure is not done yet. We are going to do it when we encapsulate the snail. Okay, so just a nice and thin layer, really. And now I'm just going to give it a cure. I don't want to put my snake skin into the uncured white because it might actually dirty my snake skin. So I want to cure this white and then do it on the clear and then encapsulate the snake skin. This is going to be awesome. We are going to use the pinching clamp as well to hold everything in place. You could also use a piece of foil just like a clean film foil. So that's my white a little bit cured. And I'm going to pick up clear again. So nice and uh, thin layer of the clear. Just enough so we can encapsulate this uh, snake skin. And now I'm going to Take a small piece of the snake skin and just place it in there. Actually, I wish to do it on a real human as well. It would be much nicer. So I really like the part where it's so nice and thin. So we are just going to cut a pretty decent piece. Or actually, we could do it in a pattern. Let's do it in a pattern. It's very easy to cut it. Okay, so I've got a first piece, maybe even, even a little bit smaller. I'm going to keep all those uh, bits and pieces left over. Now it has two sides, so I'm picking up the smooth side to touch the nail. And then with the silicone tool, I'm just pressing it down a little bit. It looks fantastic already, and this is even not finished yet. <laughs> And it's also because you need such a small amount, really. So I'm using the piece which was left over. You don't want to waste anything because I, I, I really definitely going to uh, maybe give myself a similar set. I think it will look fantastic, especially that's, as I say, the snake skin is really fashion at the moment, like, just don't hurt any animals. That looks so fantastic. I'm needing some small piece here as well. So I'm just going to cut like a wee triangle. Just a little bit too big on this side, so getting rid of this one scale. Then 
this definitely looks awesome and then one small right on the top so like very small piece So there are some empty spaces left over, but that's okay. Like, I don't want it to be all covered with the skin. And then we are going to give it a cure. I don't have to even use the pinching clamp or anything like that. The skin is so thin that it is really uh, beautifully uh, sticks into the needle. So let's put this on the side, on a safe place, so I can use it. And you can see there are some larger patterns as well. Like, I think too large wouldn't be uh, best on the needles. Uh, so that's why I have picked up the smallest ones. And I'm going to keep those wee things as well uh, on the side, because I might use them. Now we need to encapsulate everything and file it nice. So also, I think it will be really... Um, fab to add some designer logo into that as well but let me encapsulate this uh, new actually we can go with this one so i'm just going to clean my brush from white that is always left over and then encapsulate this new so nice and thin layer it's actually reflect the light on this one. Absolutely amazing. So I'm really gentle at this layer, like, because uh, I don't want to damage the skin, which we have encapsulated. So very gentle. Don't press too hard. And then once we have applied the first layer of the gel, we are going to build up the apex and then add one more layer because I didn't want to press it hard. So there might be some missing places. And now I'm picking up a decent scoop of the product to build up the apex. And what the gel does as well, it's enlarged the um, snake skin it looks absolutely fantastic okay now i'm just going to give it a cure and then we'll remove the form and add just some small um small uh, amount of the gel as well to even out the surface because I didn't want to press it too hard over the snake skin in case I would move it or tear it apart imagine and I think it will be nice to give it some designer logo on it as well so I'm just going to use this ones just take a couple out because this will go with this design so yeah, definitely we're going for this one. So I've got the logo in here. Then I can remove the form to just add the product in the missing places and then we can shape this beautiful needle. going to look absolutely fantastic once it's finished i'm really excited <laughs> so now i can press just normal without of uh, fear of tearing the skin apart And add a little bit more on the apex just because it's a pretty long and decent needle. You can also see guys like how long the white stays on my brush. Uh, 
even I didn't use it, it for a long time because we already done two layers of the clear I've got still some white coming out from my brush that's why it's important always to clean it with the color you are going to use awesome and then give it a cure so this is a final cure one minute cure and then we can move on into the shaping A couple seconds longer I can just put all the stuff on the side because we are going to shape the nail this is just a bit of tape so I don't file over my fingers that's it hooked So remove the inhibition layer and shape this nail. File the free edge. File the side. And file the other side. smooth everything around the cuticle area and because we have put a decent amount of the clear we don't have to worry that we will file through the snake skin Just file through the entire nail. Okay, keep going. Now I'm just going to clean it the dust to see where else I need to file it. And I really wanted to do it at uh, this nail like so long so we could show the beauty of this uh, design. And then once you're happy with it, we are going to uh, buff it everything nice. clean the dust and let's paint it so we are going to use the foil design gel for this part and the dew liner brush so on my mixing plate I'm just picking up a small amount of the black and now we are going to outline it. Actually starting from this side. I think black is going to add this kind of beautiful look to it. Okay, 
see on the top. This is something when I'm never talking too much when I'm painting. And to be honest, guys, I was really struggled to paint those black outlines uh, on the Neil's designs until I got the D-liner. It's definitely changed my life when it comes to those kind of uh, outlines. Much easier and quicker to do it. I mean, it's still kind of really difficult task. You can hear me talking very little only. So I can concentrate. And the one on the bottom. I could have a matching in back. <laughs> so just touch it up now i've got two things going on in my head one of them is leave it and just add the gold uh, uh, designer sticker into it or the second one ideally i'm thinking to kind of divide the section a little bit <laughs> and i've got such a mixed feelings so just in case, what we are going to do it, I'm going to cure it. Because if I'm not happy with the divided sections, then I can remove it. And uh, I'm not going to affect the outlines, which we have done it. Because I definitely want to keep the outline. Okay. So. What I'm doing, just following the places where we've got those uh, snake skin pattern. And dividing them into a geometric design. Okay, keep painting.
this middle part just keep it empty don't do anything in there Okay, that's me happy with this part of the design. And the sticker will go there and there. So I'm just going to quickly add the detail on this one. Cool. Okay, now we are going to cure it on slow settings half a time so we can put some transfer foil into it. And we will use some gold transfer foil. So I'm just going to use the low settings speed and cure it for a 30 seconds. So 30 seconds cure. And we are going to use the gold transfer foil. couple seconds longer okay that's it cured so I'm just taking it out from the lamp and we are going to put some uh, gold transfer foil so just cut some small piece of the foil Clean it with the blue scrap on the back, wait a couple seconds for it to dry and then just transfer it in some places. It will give this really elegant look to it. And just on the side in here. You have to find like a best curing time for this uh, transfer foils to stick in nice. Now we want to also add those uh, stickers which we've got in here and I'm going to use the base gel for that. So just a small amount of the base gel, one in here one in there Absolutely fantastic look. I have told you some time ago that nothing looks good when it's an even number. When it's even number and I agree with that so we have to add one more sticker here. Ok, 
Okay, give it a flash cure. And then we can just apply the top coat and check how this uh, cool meal turned out. Uh, I think it looks absolutely fantastic. I hope you're thinking the same. So wait till the top coat goes on it. Wow, it does looks fantastic. Look at the snake skin showing up. And because it's so deeply enca encapsulated inside, it looks absolutely fantastic. So yeah, that's what we have created amazing meal i'm just trying to show you because it has so many different dimensions so once it's lifted it looks different and like at each different angle it looks absolutely uh, different so look at this again especially when it's um especially that the skin have been enlarged like i i feel it's much larger uh, now than it was before we encapsulate it and it has those shimmer through it as well uh, yeah really awesome look i hope you have guys really enjoyed watching this tutorial if you did hit the share button so the others can see it as well i'm just going to quickly cure it as well and uh, yeah sending you lots of uh, glittery hacks <laughs> and bye for now